Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at one of my favorite ROM hacks to one of my favorite games of all time, Streets of Rage 2, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Re-Revenge. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. The modding community has been very awesome with classic games in a retro community where I'm mostly able to play unreleased games from the past with English translations. Some mods introduce graphical changes to outright making a completely new game altogether. In this instance, we take a look at Shredder's Re-Revenge. Released back in 2020 in December, Shredder's Re-Revenge takes all the character sprites from the fantastic Shredder's Revenge and replaces them into the Streets of Rage 2 formula of fighting. As a huge beat-em-up fanatic, Streets of Rage 2 was one of my all-time favorite games. The level design and the sound all remain the same as well as the gameplay, which is not a terrible idea at all. All the characters have been swapped so that the game, in essence, is completely different. From Leonardo to April O'Neil, all the heroes here and villains are available. What is even more incredible is that the hack also replaces all the enemies and boss encounters with the Foot Clan and all the rest of the enemies found in Shredder's Revenge. There is also a competent story here that if you really need to know why you're playing the game, it's there. But honestly, you fight the Foot Clan to Shredder in the end is enough for me. The visuals here are awesome, and I was pleasantly surprised that this can run on original Sega Genesis hardware. I would never fathom that this was possible on such archaic technology, which is a testament to the developers and programs who really took their time in this production. The gameplay all runs great as the original Streets of Rage formula wasn't touched too much in the translation, which is a good thing as the game had some of the best gameplay mechanics to begin with. The combos and supers are all changed to represent the character you're playing, but doesn't feel awkward by any means. The overall quality here is impressive. Although you are in a Streets of Rage game, I feel totally immersed as if this was a true Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game that was released by Konami themselves. A fabulous accomplishment which makes me really wonder what else is possible with the good old Genesis and its future. A must play for retro gaming fans to return to their roots to play either the original hardware to emulation. This is a fantastic trip down memory lane at the same time making the trip with a brand new fresh coat of paint. That's it for this look at one of the best ROM hacks, Shredder's Re-Revenge. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos, be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.